Dolomite. It was released in 1975. It was written, produced, and starred Rudy Ray Moore, who was like yeah, a stand-up comic. He started to do like these albums of uh, of his comedy as well. Which with his LPs, he first uh, created the character of Dolomite in uh, one that's called Eat Out More Often. And then he decided, like, seeing all these other films, like, really want to like make make some of uh, make make something like this and uh, get into it so he, he he did he used a lot of his own money but during production it ballooned to um a hundred thousand wow. dollars which like really went went out of control there but um yeah he, but during production like uh like behind the scenes like writing and uh other actors he also used a lot of his like fellow uh, comics that that you met on the scene, like Jerry Jones and like uh, Lady Reed, who had prominent uh, prominent roles in the film, which also added to their chemistry. Like they they know each other's like comedic rhythm, they they're comfortable with each other, so that, so that just sort of uh, sort of worked. Uh, the film Dolomite um followed dolomite as he was uh, released from prison yeah he was uh it was basically a pimp but it's also <laughs> it, it's, re- it's revealed that <laughs> but it's also oh, revealed. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> but it's also revealed later on that uh his uh brothel also doubles up as a karate school uh, okay, yeah, uh, I, 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 Jeff, I understand this film completely. Uh, I understand everything about it. It's like classic black exploitation. Everything yep. about you saying, yeah, yeah. Has it got has it got the best soundtrack in the world you've ever heard? Jeff? Every every character has their own little uh, little <laughs> song is introduced. Some folks say that Willie Green was the baddest motherfucker the world ever seen. Which. I mean, it rhymes. Yeah, I mean, so. <laughs> no need for rhymezone.com for that. <laughs> like, they figured that out. The, the, the main character is trying to, like, get uh, get Dolomite done for, like, drug running. And uh, yeah, it's also working with the police. Like, oh, yeah, get, get him off the streets, get him locked up so I can take over. Um, but it, it's something that should be seen. And I would uh-huh. recommend it. It is very 70s, should I say, in its sort of attitudes to, like, race gender and all those things but if you put that to to one side it is an enjoyable enjoyable experience very 70s like star wars cool i get it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a film on netflix called dolomite is my name which follows eddie murphy playing really ray moore and uh, the making of the uh the original dolomite it's uh, quite good i uh, recommend watching it but yeah uh the film ended up getting a cult following um uh, the film ended up inspiring people like Eddie Murphy, uh, Wesley Snipes, uh, Quentin Tarantino. So, like back then, it was like very much like a cultural phenomena. Rita Ray Moore and uh, a lot of the cast and crew ended up making quite a few other films afterwards. So, and yeah, that started a few careers. A couple of things to say about the film: mm-hmm. a lot of the punches and kicks y- they don't connect. Good. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a good like uh, foot or two in between, like some of them, and it's quite obvious some of the times. Uh, and another thing was that the original showing of uh, of the film was uh, shown in the wrong aspect ratio. <laughs> it was uh, like the film was like four by three, but it's supposed to be uh, shot in a one eight five aspect ratio with mm-hmm. the top of bottom cut off, which meant that the boom mic was seen. <laughs> Quite a few times, and you can even see the boom operator just like the back of his head in one of them as he's like pointing <laughs> up at the actors. So, if you're going to watch uh, Dolomite and if you want to like have a bit of a drinking game, there you go, take a shot every time you see the boom <laughs> mic. 